Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using slope deflection method. In this frame, there is a vertical member AB, horizontal member BC, and an inclined member CD. In AB and CD, there is no load. In the member BC, there is an eccentric point load 25 kN. It is acting at the distance of 2 meter from the joint B. The moment of inertia for AB is 1.8i, for BC it is i and for CD it is 3i. Height of AB is 3 meter, length of BC is 5 meter. We need to find the inclined length of CD. We can take this triangle. In this triangle, we can apply Pythagoras theorem. Root of 4 square plus 3 square. We will get length of CD which is 5 meter. We know that this frame is subjected to Suve due to the unsymmetrical dimensions. Let us assume that the Suve occurs towards the left side. Now let us find the fixed end moments in AB and CD there is no load. So in these two members all of the fixed end moments will be zero. In the member BC there is an eccentric point load 25 kN. The formulas to find the fixed end moments are minus WAB square upon L square and positive WA square B upon L square. Here W is 25, A is 2, B is 3 and L is 5. For M of BC we will get minus 18 and for M of CB we will get positive 12. Now let us see how this frame deform due to the SUVE. We have assumed that the SUVE occurs towards the left side. The frame will SUVE. In this shape, let us connect the point A and this point, this point and this point, this point and this point. Let us connect the joint C and this point and then let us make a vertical line so that we will get a triangle. In the triangle, let us keep the vertical height as a delta V the inclined distance as delta i. We know that this horizontal distance is delta. We have to find delta v and delta i in the terms of delta. This angle and this angle will be same. So if this angle is theta, this angle also will be theta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us find tan theta that will be 3 upon 4. We will get 0 0.75. Now let us find cos theta. That will be 4 upon 5. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us find tan theta. That will be delta V upon delta. Let us find cos theta. That will be delta upon delta I. We know the values of tan theta and cos theta. Let us apply both of them. Finally, we will get the relations. Delta V is equal to 0 0.75 delta and delta I is equal to 1.25 delta. For the member AB, we have to consider this displacement which is delta. For the member BC, we have to consider this displacement which is 0 0.75 delta and for the member CD we have to consider this displacement which is 1.25 delta. Now let us start making the slope deflection equations. First let us make them in the member AB since the member AB is subjected to the displacement delta. With the equations, we have to add the Suve moments. Since the Suve occurs towards the left side, the Suve moments should be applied as positive. We know that both of the fixed end moments are zero. 
length of AB is 3. Let us apply that. The moment of inertia for AB is 1.8i. So instead of i, we have to apply 1.8i. Since in the point A there is a fixed support, theta A will be 0. Finally, in the member AB, we have made two equations. Now let us make the slope deflection equations in the member BC. Since this member has a displacement, with the equations we have to add the sway moments. The displacement occurs on the right side. It occurs downwards. So the sway moments should be applied as negative. For BC, the displacement is 0.75 delta. So instead of delta, we have to apply 0.75 delta. Let us apply the fixed end moments, minus 18 and 12. Length of BC is 5. Let us apply that. Finally, in the member BC, we have made two equations. Now let us make the equations in the member CD. Since this member is subjected to sway, with the equations, we have to add the sway moments. We know that the sway occurs towards the left side. So the sway moments should be applied as positive. We know that for the member CD, the displacement is 1.25 delta. So instead of delta, we have to apply 1.25 delta. We know that both of the fixed end moments are 0. Length of CD is 5. Let us apply that. The moment of inertia for CD is 3i. So instead of i, we have to apply 3i. In the point D, there is a fixed support. So theta D will be 0. Finally, in the member CD, we have made two equations. Now let us make the joint equilibrium equations. In the joint B, when we add MBA and MBC, it will be 0. Let us apply the expressions for MBA and MBC. Then let us add them. After adding, we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 7. In the joint C, when we add MCB and MCD, it will be 0. Let us apply the expressions for MCB and MCD. After adding both of them, we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 8. Now we are going to make the third equilibrium equation. Let us take the member AB and make an expression for the horizontal reaction HA. In this process, we have to assume that the moments MAB and MBA are acting in the clockwise direction. To find HA, let us take a moment about to be. HA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3. So minus 3 HA. Both of these two moments are acting in the clockwise direction. So both of them are positive. Finally for HA, we will get MAB plus MBA upon 3. Now let us take the member CD and find the reaction RD. In this process also, we have to assume that the moments MDC and MCD are acting in the clockwise direction. By taking moment about to C, we can find RD which is MCD plus MDC upon 5. Now let us extend the members AB and CD up to a point where both of them meet. Let us keep the meeting point as O. We need to find the inclined distance OD. For the distance of 3 meter, the inclined distance is 5 meter. So for 3, it is 5. But I need the inclined distance at the horizontal distance of 8 meter. So we have to multiply with 8. When we do that, we will get OD, which is 40 upon 3 meter. We have to find the vertical distance OA. For the distance of 3 meter, the height is 4 meter. So for 3, it is 4. But I need the height at the distance of 8 meter. So we have to multiply with 8. 
when we do that we will get this height we know that this height is 4 this height is 3 so here we will have 1 so to find the distance of OA from this we have to subtract 1 when we do that we will get 29 upon 3 meter now let us take a moment about the point O HA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 29 upon 3 this load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2 meter both of these two movements are acting in the clockwise direction so both of them are positive RD is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is OD which is 40 upon 3 for HA and RD we can apply these two expressions then let us multiply on both of the sides with 9 after simplifying we will get this equation then for our own comfort let us change the signs on both of the sides for MAB, MBA, MCD and MDC let us apply the expressions from the slope deflection equations finally we will get this equation let us keep this equation as number 9 now we have 3 equations the 7th one, 8th one and the 9th one now we can use a calculator and solve these 3 equations if you do not know how to solve 3 equations in the calculator see the description below there is a link you can click the link and watch the video I have used the calculator and got the values of Ea theta b, Ea theta c and Ea delta when we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 1 we will get MAB when we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 2 we will get MBA when we apply the values of Ea theta b, Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 3 we will get MBC when we apply the values of Ea theta b, Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 4 we will get MCB when we apply the values of Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 5 we will get MCD and finally when we apply the values of Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 6 we will get MDC so in this analysis we have calculated all of the movements for MAB, MBA and MCB we have got positive values that means all three of them are acting in the clockwise direction for MBC, MCD and MDC we have got negative values that means all three of them are acting in the anticlockwise direction here you can see the bending moment diagram by superposition method now using these two expressions we can find HA and RD let us take the horizontal member BC and find the reactions when we take moment about C we will get VB to find VC we have to subtract VB by 25 then we can find the bending moment under the point load here you can see the shear force diagram alternatively we can draw the bending moment diagram indicating the movements in all of the points now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video